Hey, new starters. I'm going to choose the middle one because that's what Medicham was. The rest of the encounters are Drapion and Toxicroak. I'm choosing Basculin. Fuck. Basculin, your name is Panoptic. Congratulations and welcome to the team. And my first encounter is going to be... Whoa, Metagross! Oh, cool! I guess I'll try to catch this thing. Um, Basculin, this is going to be very difficult, but let's water gun it. I think it resists it, right? Nope. Cool! Well, fuck me! Okay, so here is going to be our second encounter for this Nuzlocke playthrough, whatever it is. First of all, thanks for the black glasses. I appreciate that. And our first encounter is... Articuno! I, I can't catch this. Okay, well, I will try my best. Oh no. Uh, water gun, go! Okay, I can do this. I'll see you guys in one second while I try to catch this shit. Bag, go! Pokeball! Ah! Come on. One. Two. Three. Done! Yeah! Fuck yeah! That's a really good ice flying as well. Articuna the, f the freeze Pokemon. I mean, I can't not call you Aokiji. Welcome to the party, buddy-o! Hell yeah! All right, I'm gonna run through this route, I suppose. Oh, it's a Krikatoon. Thank God I didn't get you, you weird whoopee. Okay, and we have two items down here, and an absorb bulb, and a repel. Cool. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, in the last episode, if you did not end up catching it, I suggest heading back and checking it out because unfortunately we did have a small incident. And this episode, it did start off with some rerunning of what we've done so far. Because I figured, because we're so early in the Nuzlocke, it feels too gross to me to be like, okay, well, we'll just continue anyway. So what I decided to do is I went through the entirety of the beginning of the game again. I got a new starter, got some new encounters, got some things done. And also, we will be having a new rule. So going forward, I have turned the level modifier down from what it was at 25% down to 10%, so it is going to be on the easier side. Um, I think we did have bad RNG in the last one, but I just, I feel as if this is the best way for me to enjoy the game and not feel super stressed out at all times consistently. Uh, but I did want to do is we're going to re quickly recap my team that I have now, and we're going to go in and get some revenge today. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into this. So our new starter is Panoptic the Basculin. I feel like he looked like a very Panoptic type of person to me. He's very brave, apparently. Uh, and he has Tackle, Aqua Jet, Bite, and Headbutt. He is the one that replaces our Metacham now. Um, all in all, he's going to be fantastic. I, 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 I believe in Panoptic. And we also have Aokiji, our Articuno, with a hardy nature, Gust, Powder Snow, and Mist. So... All in all, our coverage is quite good right now because we kind of have one big rock weakness and one thing that's good against rock. So it's kind of all right. And we are just going to hop into this and kind of run down for now. I also wanted to quickly save again because I feel like I didn't do that anytime recently and I just kind of wanted to do that. Um, so we are at the exact same point we were before to the point where like I've gotten the tra trainer school done already. Uh, the gym leader is just standing right here chilling. And what I did want to do is I wanted to run over to the Dream Yard. We'll go and try to get our encounter today, I suppose. Um, and we're going to try to hope that things go well. You. We! We are training here. Now let us train Pokemon together. Don't have a Giratina. Of all fucking situations. I'm so upset that I died to a Route Electrike. 
fucking electro. Why is that wall my entire team? Why do I have two weaknesses to electric right now? Oh no. Oh god. Okay. We, we, it's fine. It's okay. We just we just need to not die to. I probably should have used powder snow first. That's a leer. That's okay. We can get through this. It it is it is all all right. God, I'm already fucking stressing. God damn it. You know, when I started the Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke, I wasn't sure how things were gonna end up going, and unfortunately, the first section of this was a very hard roadblock, reminding me how difficult Pokemon can be. So we're gonna try to just chill with this. I'm really happy with our current Pokemon, but I, I miss Gone. I, I realized later that Gone had Bide. Gone had his John John Ken that he could have released. And I'm really upset at myself for ending up losing him. But we'll live on. We'll move on. Our heart lives in the tomorrow that we believe in. And we'll just try our best. I think I might have to swap out here, though. Because I don't have any good damage against this thing. It doesn't really outheal me, though, so it's not really a huge deal. As long as Aqua Ring isn't too much of a threat. It should be fine, though. Gust that up, and we'll do one more, and it should end this off, right? Blow him away. Good stuff. And we will take that. Now, I am level 12 already, and level 13 on my Basculin, so he will be good for the gym. I hear that the levels go up to 17 at this, like, whatever. So we're going to try that out. Wait, are there no starters here? I can't cut this down. Are, is there no grass here until after I come back later? Let's try this guy, I guess. I hope that there's grass. That would be even sadder if I went over here and died to someone that wasn't even going to get me an encounter before the gym anyway. That... Oh, hey, Golurk! God, I remember... So, one of the main Pokemon fan games that I played back in the day was Pokemon Omicron and Zeta. And they have a thing called Mega Golurk inside that, of which he goes into Gurren Lagon form, gets giant shades on his stomach, and also gets a drill on his right hand. I can't look at regular Golurk without just smiling because of it. it it's I used that Mega for so long because of how cool it was. It's also why I play Reinhardt inside fucking Overwatch. Because, if you don't know, Reinhardt inside Overwatch has a skin where he's all red, and he has a face on his stomach. That is the Gurren Lagon skin to me, and that is what I use primarily, because I find that to be the coolest thing in the world. Haxorus, I actually think that Articuno is a great counter for you, because I have Powder Snow. Thank God for having a counter to all Dragon types, man. They're going to be the biggest threat inside this entire LP. <gasps> yeah! Get frozen! That, that is just how it goes. Get taken down, Haxorus. God, I'm so happy with this. I, I, so much stress has been taken off of me now thanks to this. I bless the world and all that it has to offer. We're fighting Muck. I'm actually gonna swap out to Panoptic here. So I feel like Muck would be easier to take down with a headbutt. Better than trying to go for like flying type moves. Also, I just can't handle getting poisoned, so hit this. Flinch! Hell yeah! God, we have two, like, really good haxy attacks that end up having flinches or having whatever. I will take it. Does... Does Basculin even evolve? Ooh, there is something up there. Basculin will not do well against Water-type Pokemon. That is incorrect. You want this Cradley of mine? Yes. It can use Grass-type moves, so it makes great against Water-types. Oh! Oh! I just got a free Cradley. Okay, well, your name is gonna be... Your name is going to be Zunt. Do you want to know why? Because I have no better names, and I kind of like the name. It sounds kind of cool. If you have many types of Pokemon, no matter what, you will be good. Thank you for that. So I guess they just give away a free Pokemon inside this route, and you can't access the grass just yet until a little bit later when you get cut. 
interesting. I I didn't even know about that. What level is he and what is his actual moveset actually? Uh, Zunt, what are you up to? So you're rock grass, obviously, with astonish, constrict, acid, and ingrain. Very interesting. I this is such an interesting type combination as well. This is actually a really good type of coverage I have going here. We're gonna run over to the gym now. I, I think that we're pretty safe, and generally three Pokemon's kind of good for this. So I'm gonna go heal, then we'll go through the entire gym and see how things go. You know, there's there's a I don't know if it's a gotcha game or something, but I used to have a friend that played like this weird Pokemon Candy Crush thing. Back in the day called, it was like Pokemon Duel, Pokemon whatever. It's a mobile game, and it seems interesting. Here are the I'm the gym leader of this town, you want to challenge the gym, yes? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig, I see. It's weak against water-type Pokemon. I think you'll need to prepare to face that type. We're we'll waiting for you inside. You got it. Uh, I doubt it's going to actually be that typing, but we'll try our best. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for the trainers challenging the Pokemon Gym. I appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. You got some fresh water. Thank you. I appreciate that. Actually, right before we go into this gym and actually fight everybody, I kind of want to see what I actually have. Uh, Absorb Bulb. A consumable bulb. If the holder is hit by a water-type move, a special attack will raise. Black Glasses. An item held by a Pokemon. It is a shady-looking pair of glasses that boost dark-type moves. I'm actually going to give the black glasses to Panoptic because he does have a dark type attack. And I mean, imagine a Basculin wearing sunglasses. That seems great. And I actually am going to put Zunt with the Absorb Bulb because I can swap him in on water types. Because, you know, shit goes down. I believe that water beats fire. That's how this gym works. Yeah, it is rad. Hey there. Welcome to Stradion Gym. Care to have a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. You got it. What are you up to? We have two Pokeballs on the platter. One Pokemon in actual... Oh. Oh! Hey there, Empoleon. I don't really have a good answer to you, so I guess I'm just going to try to be neutral. The issue is I don't resist ice, so hopefully it doesn't actually have anything like that. I'm gonna try to just use powder. Powder snow is a bad plan. Uh, shit. Attack fell. I don't think that actually affects a lot of what I'm doing here. I think that I'm mostly a special attacker. I don't actually know what Gust is though. It appears that I'm very ineffective. Maybe I will swap out. That sounds good. And I mean, you probably have water type attacks, right? Try it out. We'll try to see if Cradley can do anything here. Tackle will definitely hurt a little bit, but I'm, I am rock type. I'll take that. Uh, and I guess I'll just do Constrict for now. Do you only have Tackle and Growl? Is that because you're a starter and you only have those at this level? Oh boy. Astonish. Swords Dance! Uh... If I don't take you down, you're going to be a huge threat to me, actually. Because Tackle, along with Sword Stance, I resist it as Cradley. Um, it could get much worse. Bubble. I will take that. Hit me with that really hard. I'll take, like, no damage. And I'll get that attack boost. Thank you. And this will give me some heals per turn. We're going to try to, like... I can only traverse this via being, like, one-to-one -one neutral. So I guess we're just going to try our best here. Oh, no. I got a crit. Why was that a crit? Okay. Um, Which ones of these are special attacks? Are you special? You're physical. Are you special? You're physical. Are you special? You are special, but I can't actually use acid against this. I guess ice types resist acid? It would make sense, because it would, like, slide off of the ice and not actually do anything, but damn it. I guess I'll just use Constrict again. This is going to be a fuck- ah! 
fucking trip. Oh no. Oh no. This is not how this is happening today. Oh no. Oh no! What? I... What? What do I do? Oh god fucking damn it. Why are you at plus four? What do I do here? Like I don't... I can pop a potion on Zunt. I just gotta hope that... Tackle please. Ha! Okay. Uh, in that case, I just need to slowly whittle things down. I hate this. Why is it every fucking time that I try to traverse something like this and try to go to like a gym, try, try, try to like fight anybody, they just have the exact thing that kicks my ass. Like the exact, I mean, it could be worse naturally with like stronger water type attacks or a, something better than tackle. But like, this is literally just, I have to whittle you down. There's no better power than a whittle. Oh. Are you out, you're not out of tackles. You would have 30 of them. Are you just using bubble cause you feel like it? I mean, I guess it's neutral, but Oh boy, at least you're down to half health, so we're kind of traversing this a bit. I'm losing my attack stat even more per phase. Uh, so if I get lower than halfway, I'm going to pop a potion then swap out. <sighs> I'm gonna pop a potion then swap out to try and get my attack stat back. So I think that I kind of need it right now. Um, I feel like I'm mostly safe to swap in Articuno once because he has quite a bit of health and I'm not really too afraid. Both of the attacks, aside from Tackle, naturally, are mostly resisted. Oh god. If, if Tackle, which is resisted by Rock types, does fucking 18 damage to Zunt, that means... Is it half damage from water? Here, I need a typing chart. Type, type chart. Poke, poke a man. Oh God. Rock is weak against fighting ground and steel. Don't have any of those. How much effective? Oh, not very effective is 0.625 damage instead of 0 0.5, wait, what? Oh, so it's 0 0.5 times damage. So that would mean that it should do 36 damage. That won't kill Articuno, but that's assuming that the defense is the same. That's 22, that's 34. There's potential here. There's definitely potential. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a heal. I'm, I, fucking God damn it. This is the first trainer. This is the first goddamn trainer. I hate this. Okay, so Bubble is actually resisted, so I don't take as much damage. I'll heal back half of that. I'm going to swap in Articuno, because he does a... What? Why can't Zunt be swapped out? What? Does Empoleon have an ability to stop swapping out? Am I missing something? I'm not... Ingrade forces you to stay in! No, 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 no. The user lays roots that restore its own HP on every turn. Because it is rooted, it can't swap out. <laughs> Cradle, you motherfucker. I probably should have understood you better. Oh, okay. Well, why can I lower my attack even further? Why is this possible? Constrict, please. Um, I, I guess we're just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna brute force this. Just 
keep on using constrict, man. I I just keep on doing it. I'll hope for the best, I guess. This is weird. This is a weird ma- Ah! That hurts. This is this is such a strange matchup. Can I skip forward a bit, at least, to make this less painful? Ah! 8 HP, buddy! That is not okay! I'm gonna pop a heal! I, I just, I have to brute force it. That's my only option here. I should have healed. 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 Please, no! <sighs> okay, Zoot, I am going to heal you now. Oh my God. Fuck this matchup. Why? I hate this. I just have to lame it out. Okay, so... It has been... Like, 15 turns now. I have one potion left. And I have zoomed. I'm going to be real with you. I have gotten two speed drops on Empoleon. I don't think I'm willing to spend another potion on this battle. It, it has just taken too long. I'm going to use Constrict. Get as much damage as possible. And if Cradley dies, he dies. I, Zunt, I, I have... I have general connections to you. Right? I care about you. You're great. However, you have done your work. I have no good answer right now. Tackle is just too much. Four times tackle with sword dance. That critted, of course. I didn't even need, it didn't matter if I healed anyway. I was going to lose Zoom no matter what. Now, here's my issue. All right, Panoptic. I don't know if you can survive a tackle because it does 36 damage and one good crit will fuck you over. And your defense is lower, I believe, right? No, nope, it's higher, actually. That's good. Panoptic? Your dream starts now! Okay. So, this is the most dire thing in the world. Um, I have Aqua Jet. That's, that's priority, right? It is sure to strike first. I can survive a turn. Headbutt. Yeah! I flinched it! Okay. Listen. It was enough of a trial. Zunt did his job. It is okay. Fuck you, Marshall. Fuck you, Marshall. You, you goddamn pizza shit. <sighs> you know what? Zunt did so much work there because genuinely if that flinch didn't happen I would have been on like 10 HP and if I was on 10 HP I couldn't have survived another attack and probably would have lost so genuinely I appreciate all of the work that Zunt has done for us however I would like to put him to rest and say bless his soul and what he's done. Rest in peace, the first casualty of the second run of the Nuzlocke. Oh, oh dear. Zoot, I loved you. I cared about you so much, but you know what? Sometimes it just doesn't work. I'm buying 10 potions here, man. I need it. We're just gonna go, and I'm gonna put my hopes and dreams in the moment that is tomorrow and keep on moving through this. Now, genuinely, I would say that Panoptic is a safer swap out than he is, or uh, Panoptic is a safer start than he is a swap in. Aokiji has only like two or three typings that completely destroy him, but he gets destroyed by them too hard. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead with Panoptic. We're gonna try to get through this and just see Whatever the next match has for us, just don't be a good electric type. 
don't be a Magneton with Sonic Boom. That would be the worst case scenario. The specialty of the Stradion Gym is the full course, the Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Oh, that's hot. Good stuff. Bugcatcher Mallory sent out Carnivine. Grass type is on the rougher side, but I'm not completely afraid. I do think I'm going to swap out though, because like it's a fairly safe swap. Uh, I quad resist grass in general, so it's not really a huge, huge deal. Bind. What does that do? Is that a force non swap out? It is like a Gen 1 style constrict, but it's not too big of a deal. Easy. You know, the only one of the three legendary birds that I have inside Pokemon Go is uh, Articuno. Unfortunately, the other ones I just haven't been able to play because once I started playing the game again, no one wanted to raid those ones anymore and just kind of died off. Also, Panoptic, you can counter this Ponita pretty hard. I will take this. Fantastic rotation here. Thank you. Hey there, Ponita. I actually have a shiny version of you, too. Bop it. Yeah. And now we're going up to the gym leader. Now, the gym leader will be on par with us for the most part. I think he has up to level 15 or so. So let's go and put a dream forward. Fire! Yeah. Hey there. It's time for a journey, and it's time for a good save. Oh, I, I, I have been afraid of this since I did the entirety of today. But you know what? This is our first gym. This is our first real threat compared to what it could have been, and we'll try our best. Welcome to the Stradion City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I am the water type specialist. My name is Chris. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Acquaintance. And my name is Cillian. I am the grass type Pokemon. Yeah? Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, we're all here, well, er, oh, listen up. The three of us will determine who you're going to fight. It'll be decided based on your starter. That is indeed the case. Your partner, you first chose the fire type. Guess that's me. That is correct. It shall be me. And, and you will face my steam water types in the, in the battle that is to come. My canon is that he just can't speak, but he tries his hardest. Like he, he just, he can't get the sentence he wants to say out, but he's, he's pushing. What an incredible fuck for you. I, that is an L. Okay. What an inc what incredible luck for you. I get battle best among the three trainers is me. Thanks, Cress. I appreciate that. Thanks, Wayne. God, your hair is so weird. It's like, it's like it's gooped together. Like he's gelled up one of the like small pauldrons. Oh, hey, slow bro. How you doing? Uh, are you psychic? I think that slow bro might be psychic. Yo, Panoptic, I need you to put on your shades. I need you to get some good looks in. Chomp. Hell yeah. As it should be. I will take that. And bite. God, I love Mega Slowbro. I, I wish I had seen it in any context aside from like once in an evolution video. But I, I genuinely love him. What is Chip Away? Look for an opening. The user strikes continually. The target stat changes don't affect this tar this this attack's damage. Interesting. I actually might swap tackle for that. If it doesn't actually affect it, it still does a pretty good amount of damage. I'm gonna try it. Soul Rock. I have Aqua Jet for you. This is perfect. I'll put all my po all my hopes in this last Pokemon. All right. Well, I have both Aqua Jet and I have Bite. Let's try Bite Out. There you go. Crit hit as well. Oh, bless Panoptic. Holy shit. Why, you're quite remarkable. It is the Pokemon League that give you the badge. 
Yeah! Oh. Feels good. Hell yeah! Lee received the trio badge from Cress. Gym badge is a proof of trainer's abilities. Once you have one badge, Pokemon, including those traded, will, will obey you pretty well up to level 20. We also want you to have this. Obtain TM83 Mist. Well, I mean, that's useless, but I appreciate it. That's workup. Thanks. Whew. I'm happy with that. Oh, that... That was so much stress building up to that, but we ended up getting through it pretty effectively. And I mean, the Apollyon was the main issue, but it worked. Hey there, I'm Fennel. They call me that because when I was inside a frat, I used to chug from a funnel. Professor Purr told me to give you something. Please follow me. Oh, I actually haven't checked out these buildings just yet. You're gonna meet all kinds of Pokemon in the Uva region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs. Come on, go upstairs. Oh, that is concerning. So like I said, I'm Fennel. As you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. She asked, oh, I skipped one. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something. This is a hidden machine for you. Obtained H1 cut. H1, not H1Z1, HMO1 cut. Magical. There are some moves that Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can cut. You can cut down a small tree. Isn't that great? It's difficult for Pokemon to forget a hidden move once it learns it, so I'd like to ask you a favor too. There's a place called the Dream Yard in the outskirts of Stradion City. I like some of the Dream Mist that the Pokemon there, Muna, gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files for various trainers. Well, I can try. I'm going to go get that encounter regardless, but I don't think Amuna is going to end up being there, if I'm being honest with you. Either way, let's go ahead and go into our bag. Let's go to our HM. Can I teach this to anyone that I currently have? Panoptic, I guess you're learning cut today. Uh, I'm probably going to forget chip away, honestly. Because, like, headbutt's better, and generally headbutt's going to be super helpful for when I want to get more flinches anyway. So, I'll take cut on him. What is down here? Oh, hey there. Pokemon that can... Wait, Pokemon can be found in dust, dark places too. That's when a Dusk Ball can do the trick. Here's one for you. They obtained a Dusk Ball. Thank you, Creepy Man in an Alley. I appreciate that. That's concerning. But I'll take it, Biker Man. Okay, so right before we end off, we're going to go get another encounter here in the Dream Yard. I feel like that's just a good way to wrap things up. Thanks, Basculin. Thanks, Panoptic. Thanks, you hero. Hi, Lee. Are you look? Wait. Hi. Uh, uh, <coughs> Hi, Lee. Are you looking for mysterious Pokemon too? Really? I'm just really here wondering how dreams work. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Hey. Do you hear that sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. I'm down. Hey, Muna, how you doing? Moon. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We found you, Muna. Come on, make some dream mist. Poop that out. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? You're talking about us? We're Team Plasma! We battle every day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish trainers. What are we doing? Pokemon Muna and Musharna poot pretty good, and they show us people dreams. We're gonna try to use that to make people release their Pokemon. We're gonna show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Jesus. Moot! Did he just punch the Muna? Come on, spit out that dream mist! Give me that sweet ass vape. You're kicking the Pokemon, make it give off dream mist. You're mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We were Pokemon trainers too, but we we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means you have to win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. On that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Lee. Oh. Well, I guess we're doing this today. I probably should have healed. 
It's okay. He's just gonna have an Azelf. That's okay. I have Bite. This is gonna be all right. Hey there, boyo. How about these black sunglasses go on and you enter my mouth matrix? Go! Jesus. Imprison. Seal the opponent's moves. Does that just mean I can't use Bite? Oh no, it didn't matter. Okay, cool. Well, I guess that's over. Bye. Whoops. Chef Scott was destroyed. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Wait, were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Whatever, I'm next. We prefer a double battle, but I mean, this works too, I suppose. Hey there. This theme is absolutely fucking bumping though. Oh no! It's the revenge of him! Well, this time, you don't have Swords Dance ready to kick my ass, so I'm just gonna bite you. Bite through your fancy old ice. Oh, he's just doing his water sports. He just peed on me. Oh, that's the worst. It's okay. You can go down. It's weird that the Empoleon had different moveset than the Primplup did. I can't believe we lost! We have to obtain the vape! Ugh! Come on! Vape me! Knock it off! Holy shit, it's a ghost. What are you two goofing off? We, oui, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties, that this isn't Geddes when he is gathering followers, or Geddes when he is trying to control people by tricking them in with speeches. Yeah, this is Getsis when. We, wait, Getsis. Oh yeah, this is Getsis when the plan has failed. He's about to issue punishment. At any rate, we better, we better say we're sorry so he forgives us. Oh, that was pretty silly. Char. What was that just now? The person called Getsis appears all over the place, and then it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. Oh! I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha? Hey. Cool. Did something happen? Uh, oh, Fennel. You see, these people were kicking the Pokemon for its vape. And Musharna came and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it uses Poke its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. <gasps> There's vape on the ground. Is this the vape? With this, I can complete my research. You two come by my house later, okay? Who? how random was that? Why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm just gonna go find out about that Pokemon we just saw. Well, before we do that, I have bigger fish to fry, for it is time for encounter number four, or three, but four. You get it. New Pokemon, go in three, two, one. Ah! Ah, okay, cool. You are a Lotad. Huh. I actually will totally take that. Um, in that case, I actually want to use Aqua Jet because you quad resist it. Meaning I can try and get you a little bit lower and kind of play with that. There we go. Yeah. Nature power turned to Seed Bomb. Ow. That definitely is not the kindest. It's not really a huge deal because I'll probably be able to tank this regardless, but... Whew. Absorb. Okay. Having a good grass type is always nice, though. I feel like... Lotad is one of those things that I never end up using in my own time, really. Like, there's so few opportunities I get the chance to actually use Lotad aside from, like, Generation 3. So I will absolutely take it. Also, Ludicolo is a whole... a whole hero. I'll take it. Uh... Oh, I know what name I'm gonna give you. The Water Weed Pokemon! It looks like an aquatic plant, and it serves as a fairy to Pokemon that can't swim. Dude, it's the water weed Pokemon. I was gonna... See, I was gonna call you Sarazanmai, but now I kind of want to call you Snoop Dogg. 
Hmm. Okay, so I've decided to call you Snoop Zon. So you represent both the weed that you are part of and the Sara Zonmai that you combine into. I believe in that. I'm quite happy with that. And you know what? After we go and grab this item, we'll end off and be good to go for today. I got a sharp beak. Weird. Is that... Is that boost flying type attacks? A uh, sharp beak. Boost fly uh, flying type moves. Perfect for Aokiji, actually. I will take that. And we are good to go. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching episode 3 of the Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. I've been really enjoying this, this series as a whole. I took a couple of days because I kind of had a pretty... I don't know, I was pretty out of it last week in general, but we'll be back. Uh, I'm going to be recording some more videos today, so expect plenty more of, of the Pokemon in the future. I am probably going to skip Tuesday to, like this week, just to try and get some things in place and try and get some things ready. Uh, but we are good to go. And either way, I'd like to thank you all so much for all the support and appreciation for the series. People are excited about it, so I wanted to bring it back as soon as possible, and this is kind of the best way for me to do it. Thank you for watching, take it easy, and I'm going to see y'all next time on Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. Bye everybody.